Squad soldiers back at work. All right. I believe hope is such a powerful thing. We began a partnership with Convoy of Hope that's based in Missouri, and they have a huge warehouse. Good right there. Good right there. So I made a call, and they were so gracious to send us uh, over 60,000 pounds of supplies. So when they send it to us, we distribute it out to our Hope Day network of 18 different locations uh, that are based in churches, and the churches will give out the product to people in the community. We're in a pandemic of despair, but we're bringing hope to people. Hi, thank you so much. I'm eternally grateful for this community. Okay, bye. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It, it never ceases to amaze me the amount of people that will pull up here um, and drop off bags and bags of groceries. This stuff was before. They pass it off to one of our volunteers who brings it into the building behind me. Every item that comes in gets hand cleaned with sanitizer and paper towels. Could everybody go in and make bags, please? The kids who are volunteering here make up the bags. And on Saturday, the car just pulls up right in front of the building and we put the bag in the car. It truly does take a village. People are just inherently kind. And I think in this time, especially because no one has ever really lived through anything like this. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Doing this has, has, I think, just given me a little bit of a greater sense of calm, and that's what everybody really needs, right? Everybody needs a sense of hope and a sense that we will come out of it. We're better together. So when we do things together, communities come together, people find that there's really hope in the midst of despair.